Hey everyone, welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. Once again, don't usually stream on Fridays, but figured since I'm catching up on things, might as well try and get stuff done here. So yeah, this morning, I, what did I do this morning? I built a customer's DZ60, and as promised, tonight we are rebuilding the G67 element. So yeah, thanks you everyone for joining in. I see Scott Water subscribing with Twitch Prime and quite a few other people subscribing in the last hour or two. I see a Zaggle, Evan, Jason, Vera, Mitul, Mr. This, Aaron, Tirani, and Miso. And Acoustic as well. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for joining in and subscribing when I'm not even streaming. I am rebuilding the G67 element. And as you can see, we already have kind of already started. I have some switches installed and soldered already. Stabilizers all work fine, all that good stuff. So hopefully the stream doesn't last too long. Yeah, treating myself to a nice Friday beer. All right, yeah, so I don't know. Um, for those of you who are who have not heard of this board, the reason why I'm doing this right now is because this guy, this guy is soon to end its group by status. I believe it ends on July 4th. So the hope is to stream tonight and have this available on YouTube by July 4th. So those still de still deciding on whether or not they want this can make a decision. Um, so far, the board in front of me was built by Patrick, who is the proprietor of NeoKeys. He built it with a polycarb plate and a Duroc Palm switch. So far, so good. I quite like it. He has asked me to build a Thaki version of it. So he sent me an FR4 plate with plate foam. And I have chosen to use Gateron KS3s to finish this Thaki build. Um, if you guys have been following along on the Discord channel over on NeoKeys, I was questioning that, you know, Polycarb tends to be more Thaki than FR4. So if he really wanted me to do a Thaki build, he should have had me use the polycarb plate. But yeah, who knows? Who knows? Autumn has subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much. And I'm not Bree says good evening. Good evening to you too. St Stomoha says I'm looking for validation on, on the decision I made a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So far, I've been enjoying the build. The build that Patrick built for me. So hopefully I'll like this one too. Um, Differences that we will see with my build is my build will actually have foam. You can already see that I've inserted the plate foam there, whereas the Patrick build does not have any foam at all. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get started this build. Thanks for joining in again. So yeah, another difference is if you caught any of the earlier prototype builds, um, the PCB was messed up. No 7U support. So tonight, I'm building with a 7U spacebar right there. So far, so good. When I was testing earlier, everything everything worked fine. Nothing got caught. All the good stuff, right? So hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, feel free to ask any questions regarding the, the G67. And I will try my best to answer. Keep in mind, I've only really typed on this board for a day and a half at this point. So usually I tell people that I don't want to review a board until I've gotten at least one week of full-on typing. But you know, that's not always possible. Considering that the group buy ends on July 4th. <laughs> Pimple Cram subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much. Thanks for all your support, guys. Once again, this is not my usual stream time. Builds are usually done on Saturday, so I'm kind of like, okay. Let's see how we'll go here. If only mail max sockets weren't that expensive, yeah. No, honestly, I think I think they're absolutely worth it. Especially if you have a relatively simple layout. Like my last 7B board, I think. I think I oh actually no, not the 7B, the Think 
and the Primus that I just built um, were were both mill maxed. Do you offer mill max? Yes, I do. Uh, the mill max service is an additional twenty bucks more than the equivalent build service, just because it takes me long. And you know, when I do mill maxing, it's hard for me to stream because it because it, it requires lots of lots of focus. So when I do want to stream it, I I usually end up doing maybe like eighty to ninety percent of the work, and then I stream the rest. Because I feel like if I try to stream while doing mill max, I would mess up more than half of them, and that wouldn't be good for me or the customer. You know, also helps when some boards, hot stuff, beads don't have black spots. Yeah. Oh, two of five aren't that expensive and working like 99% of the board. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I prefer the 7305 or the new 3305s. Ken says, you wouldn't recommend getting the liver keycap set for daily use, how come? For someone who likes typing on plastic, such as myself, typing on metal is not a preferred experience. And that is why if you if you have the same preference as me, I would not, I would not recommend it. Do those work better or just look better? I'm assuming you're talking about the kale hot swaps um not only do they look better but they give you a lot more clearance under the pcb for example on the think 6.5 which had very little clearance i think if we had used the the longer socket we would have been touching the bottom of the board which is never a good idea what's the difficult part of soldering milmax sockets um mainly because you can easily overfold them if you apply too much solder like, like, like what I'm doing right now, you know, if you apply too much solder to a leg, so what? You know, like worst case, it's a pull joint, which you can easily reflow on a Milmax socket. If you put too much solder, you end up like completely filling up that hole. So you have to use a desoldering gun or spend a lot of time desoldering with just a pump, you know, stuff like that. It's a lot more painful to screw up with Milmax. If I didn't have a have a desoldering gun, I would not offer that service. All right. All right, I got to do that bottom row. Bottom row. Now, let me grab a, a thing. You got a space bar. That's what I mean. So I can figure out what caps I want or what size caps that I want. Want a... There we go. Should be good. Let's see. Am I allowed to use three 1.25 U's here? I think I am. I think I am. Let's try it. Pretty sure I am. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, it should work. Three one point two five views. That's fine, right? I, you know what? Let me just let let me just double check on the website just to make sure I don't screw anything up here. I don't want to have to grab my gun. Let's see, variable ANSI allows me to do. Ah, okay. Um. Variable ANSI puts me at 1.5, 1.5, followed by a 1.5. There we go. Okay, so I can't do three 1.25 views over here. Well, I could, but then I would have a strange looking gap. So let's not do that. Let's not introduce the strange looking gap. See, look at Sphina said, is there such a alignment to worry about when soldering the Milmax sockets? Um, yeah, you want to keep them as flush as possible. Because, for example, if you plug them in and it's like slanted, then your switch itself won't, won't go in flush either. So you got to be careful about stuff like that. Can't just willy nilly, willy nilly do it. Okay, I am so glad that I checked it out. So hooray, hooray. Hooray, hooray, hooray. See, soy says Merlin may ask what mice is at. That's what's it's the ploopy mouse. You can you can execute the exclamation point mouse command to 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 get a link to it. It's the first, well, the first that I know of QMK powered mouse in existence. So if you if you want to put via and QMK on your mouse, check it out. Check it out. I, I've been enjoying it. The only thing that really irks me about it, honestly, is its texture. I'm not a big 3D print guy. Especially for like stuff that has high touch. I I don't like how 3D printed stuff feels. You know? Don't like how 3D printed stuff feels. But as you can see, I've I pretty much have it every stream. I've honestly, I feel like I've I've gotten used to it. There we go. What? I still have a bunch of switches here. Let me put those away too. Yeah, Patrick's doing a lot of testing. Yeah. Lots of different finishes. To get the best one. Okay. Different screws? Okay. Same as the old unit. Makes sense. Tejas mom says egg roll. What does what do you anticipate the egg roll command to do? Wait, look, it's it's not a weight, it's just the anodized, it's just the PVD chrome plated back plate. Okay. 
There we go. Came off just like that. Look, it's Phoenix Redeemed Hydrate. Yeah, I unfortunately I don't have something that's not alcoholic, so I can't do it all the time. Oh yeah, those gaskets are completely different. They look much thicker. As you can see, much thicker and also thinner. They look easier to install as well. That's pretty good. There you go. Here is... Oh, I forgot. There's a very short cable there. Come on, come out. There we go. That this is Patrick's build right here, polycarb. Polycarb plate. Same version PCB and everything. Yeah, visually speaking, it looks identical to the engineering sample, but you know, I can't like visually look at the difference between 0.5 millimeters and like one millimeter. It comes with undergo. Yes, this is going to be a quote unquote generic PCB for all of his future 65s, you know, so trying to cover all of his bases. Like obviously you're not gonna, you're not gonna see undergo on this. There we go. This is the thickest foam that he sent me. I believe this is the two or no, this is a three millimeter thick one. All right, let's go put this in, make sure it's good. Pull that in for really quick. Okay, that, that looks aligned, kind of. I know, let's see. Let's do this one. Nope. Got this one. Okay, that makes it harder to plug in, but oh well. Oh well. Okay. Look, his pain says you are supposed to put your build. Oh. Oh no! This 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 is the right build. This is my build. Okay, um, yeah, let's go solder it. I mean, not solder it, let's go plug stuff in. Look at Phoenix says that was meant for earlier. Oh, okay. What is the difference in sound between aluminum and brass? Um, brass tends to be higher pitched. Like, if you, if you have brass doorknobs, you can... You, you can assess it for yourself, to be honest. And then let's see, what would be aluminum in your house? Um, I guess if you have a water tank, right? Well, water tank would be made would be made out of aluminum, right? Then you could just like knock on them, and then you should be 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 able to to hear like the pitch differences. The gamut says the denser material, the more high pitched in general. Yes, indeed, that is correct. Oh, 
Uh, well, I can't find the other tray for now, so let me just substitute it with 1.25, just for now. Yeah, it should be a 1.5 U key. Well, what do you know? It, lo it looks about the same. <laughs> looks about the same. Let's see. Let me just... Yeah, I lost the flex. I lost the flex of the PC. All right, here. Let's let's go get a typing test going. So I def I definitely got got the thock. It, it sounds thockier than the PC plate with uh, Duroc palms, but then um, I lost the flex. I I lost the flex that 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 I really enjoyed. So I think I think if I was to build this from like parts parts that I chose myself, I would stick with the same switches, but I would go for the polycarb plate. So I would. I, I would get the flex and possibly even deeper thock. Yeah, that's my that's my feeling about it so far in the what in the three minutes that I've built this. The one way theory says I really like the sound of this one. Cool. Yeah, I like the sound of this one over the over the Patrick build, but I like how the Patrick build felt more. That's the thing. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, po polycarb would be the way to go if if you like, if you prioritize uh, typing experience. Oh, you know what? I just realized my music is still playing. Let's pause the music and do another typing test. I tend to be forgetting that lately. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah. I am. I don't know. I. I like the sound, but I guess I'm. I'm the type of person who would put feel above above sound. You know. So. Mm, nah. I. I like a flexier typing feel that, than a stiffer one these days. So I'm. I'm actually upset, to be honest. I'm actually upset after <laughs> after building this. I like the sound, but the sound is not enough to win me over. Like, f f for the sound to like win me over, this would have sounded like a jelly. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on the foam versus no foam? That's a good idea. Maybe, you know, maybe putting in a slightly thinner foam would make it flex less. Who knows? Who knows? Mm, nom, 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 nom. Ver Verzi says Phantom or this. Um, the way I built it right now, I would pick the Phantom. The way that Patrick built it, I would pick this. You know, like the way Patrick built it with the polycarb plate just felt, uh, felt so good. Felt so much better. 
the FR4 it's a little little bit too too stiff for me so I guess it, it just really depends on like how on like how you're building it like right now I think what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna swap this out and put Patrick's build right in yeah that that one I would say is a definitely a board I would type on past the Phantom the way a board sound only really affects me the first couple seconds that I'm typing. Like when I'm actually using my board for stuff, like when I'm gaming, when I'm, you know, at work, I don't care how it sounds. I care more about how it feels, right? So yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's upsetting. <laughs> it's upsetting. I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably steal the, steal the polycarb plate from Patrick's build here. I'm gonna desolder this guy right here and put the KS3s in. That's what I'm gonna do. That way I can have the best of both worlds. I can have the sound and the feel. That's what I'm gonna do. But I do not have time to do that tonight because that means I would have to desolder both boards. <laughs> desolder both boards and do a completely new build. So yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's... Bleh. Not too happy with how I built it. <laughs> Double this out. Yeah, this is okay. So, guys, um, for those of you watching and hearing what I just said, I'm speaking primarily to my own experience. I prefer a flexier typing feel with that sound. And if I had to prioritize which one was more important to me, it would be typing feel. So, which is why I am upset because. I really wanted to retain the typing feel of the polycarb plate, but all I got was an improved sound, which, you know, you win, like you win some and you lose some, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe if, okay, you know what, I've got time, I'll, I'll take out the foam, I'll take out the foam and we'll see what happens. Alright, yeah, let's take that out, yeah, see that one's directly touching the PCB. So let's throw that out. Let's throw that out. Let's throw that out. All right, let's do it. Let's see, let me see how it feels. Okay, I think the foam made it sound better because right now without the foam it doesn't sound as good and it didn't introduce any additional flex so I think I will keep the foam in but um... I will keep the foam in for this particular build, but I think what I'm gonna do is desolder it. I'm just not happy with how it sounds. I mean, I mean with uh, with like how it types. The space bar does sound better though, so hmm, interesting. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I will do another typing test with this, and it'll probably be the last typing test of the night, and then I'll give my give my final thoughts, but you guys probably already know what they are. Here, let's do this. Typing sounds. Merlin, remember to turn off the music this time. There we go. Did the Patrick build have plate foam? No, it did not. It had no foam. No foam at all. So here we go, let's do this.
final thoughts on this. Final thoughts on this. Uh, I prefer Patrick's combination better, which was a polycarb with Duroc Palms, just because I liked how it felt. Um, in terms of sound, this is superior. What's even more superior is when you put the really thick foam in it. Um, in, in terms of sound, right? But overall, since I prioritize typing feel over sound, I think what what I'm gonna do is off stream or something, or like whenever I've got time, I will desolder. Desolder both builds. I will desolder both builds, and I will actually use the polycarb plate from this, and my Gateron KS3 is from this, and that, that should give me the sound that I want and the feel that I want. Is this board worth $265? I would say yes. I would say yes, but you really have to be careful on, on how you want to build it. That's that's the thing. It does it sound like other gasket boards out there? Sure it does. Like it's 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 what you what it's what you, you would expect. But keep in mind that it's also designed to be more of a clackier board. So if you are a thock lover like me, you may experience difficulty tuning this the way you want. So at that at that point $265 might be a little too much. Um, the one thing about this board though that's very unique is this is the base model. $265 for the base model. You can buy a brass model and a stainless steel model. And honestly, from, from, from experience, those aren't gonna sound too good. Unfortunately, you only buy those models if you want to flex. Like, I'm not talking about typing flex, I mean like, you want to show off that you can afford brass and stainless steel, right? So yeah, I'm going to raise this up to my mic, right? Here, let's see. There we go. Hopefully that was enough to show you how it clacks. <laughs> Mr. Pooter says, imagine accidentally getting endgame clacky sound when trying to build for Thok. You know, people hear different things, people prefer different things, right? You know, that's, that's one of the great things about this hobby. You can build the board how you want. Even the same board, you put in different switches, different plate, different amount of lube, different way of typing, and it sounds completely different. Avril says, Mode 65 is magnet, it's basically a magic keyboard. <laughs> Endgame board for building with blues, sure, whatever you want. Do they offer half plate options? I will have to review the website, but I don't remember seeing any. Though I'm sure if you talk with Patrick, he may be, he may be willing to give you the plate file and you can carve it up yourself, right? Alright guys, it is 7.19. I do want to make it to the gym tonight, so thanks guys for joining in. Uh, once again, the group buy for this board ends on July 4th, which is this Sunday, Independence Day here here in, in the United States. So make sure you check it out before then. Base model, it's about 260 bucks. Yeah, check it out before then. My next stream will be tomorrow. I'll be building another board. Um, See, based on my scheduled list, I don't have any customers tomorrow, which is good because I was saving it for a vendor who couldn't get stuff to me on time. So I'm just like, oh, in that case, I will build one of my boards. <laughs> I'll build one of my boards. So yeah, tune in for that. I haven't quite decided which one of my boards I will be building, but you will find out tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining in, and I will see you when I see you. Goodbye, guys.